So here's the first first thing we're going to prep. We're going to prep um, our chancho, our meat, and we're going to use a little bit of the garlic that we blended up before, beforehand, just a tad. So we kind of put it around. We had to put some oil on here, like that. And I have my tongs here, so we'll just put this down. And we got to do the meat first because the uh, you want to get this brown so that it cooks fully when it's in the paella. Otherwise you can have a potential of not having your meat cooked all the way through. Which is not good. So. So the idea, I'm trying to make a holiday one, so I just got the red peppers and yeah. I got a little extra um, peas, so yeah. we'll put that on the top along with all these shrimp and it should look very festive. Yeah. We uh, go ahead and put a little bit more olive oil to get it going. Now we're ready to make the real thing. I've got a really well seasoned pan. Now we're going to put the, oh, we need to put our garlic first. Ajo, Lucita, ajo. Oops. 
Salt on. Salt. I put this one in you know, two or three. That's about three or four. an additional program. So put all this stuff together. Not. I um, I just put I have my chicken my chicken broth and I just put that in there. You're almost doing the Peter thing. Well I'm, I'm starting to go that way. <laughs> This is a good rice too. This is authentic. Spanish rice. It's a pearl, right? Pearl, yes. Two, three. We're gonna do four. What? Cuatro. There we go. See? It's good, huh? How many onions? I got two onions in there. And uh, now we mix all this. So up. everything is already cooked. Yeah, I already cooked that, 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 and that. And this? And that. So we mix it all together. This is number 111, by the way. Yep. So there's one. We can start it here. One. How high is the fire? What's the electricity? I don't know. It's got. Or it's pretty high. Yeah, you want to keep it, it's not too high, we want to keep it yeah. higher, we'll lower it here in a minute. No, 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 that's the problem with these, you need a special thing to cook a paella. Yes. There's two, we got two more, hopefully oh. I have enough. I have to uh, break open, it? break open another one. It's really hot? Yeah, well, you can lift that up though. Hold on. Oh, 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 wait, that's two, that's two, but I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna put the sap, hold on, hold on. We're gonna put the sap on. Oh, yeah. yeah. I don't know, buddy. I'm, I'm super busy here, buddy. Oh my God. 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 Chancho. 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 A tu a mi gente de Puerto Rico, a la familia Fontané, allá en Cupeyanto y lo mejía en Vega Baja. Put 
Pechancho. Pechancho. Shrimps. Clams. Clams. What is? Um, that's it. So it's pretty much a clam and shrimp. Wait, little shrimp and big shrimp. Little shrimp. So what is that? Shrimp. Those are your South American river shrimp. Those are shrimp. Yeah, it's also. Mm -hmm. So there we go. It's doing fire high, right? It's still a little bit high. I'm letting it. Let it. I want to see it simmer first. Oh, no, there we yeah. go. Then we'll turn it down a little bit. Go. So now. Wow. <laughs> I want to set those in there, and especially especially the tail. I want to get the tail in that water. for the help. Alright, here we go. The peas. This is what's going to make it festive. Look at that. Shaking it, turning it so we have an even cook. There we go. All right, keep, uh, keep our shrimp tails down in the water. Shaking and turning. And that's about it. We'll let it cook. Until the water is away, and then we'll turn this back on in a second. Sweet. You whip it? Yeah. Lucita, Lucita, dile. Ven. Yeah. La paella la hace riquísimo, riquísimo. Todo está, pero perfecto. Lucita, me canta para ti, ¿sí? Uh -huh. Lucita, Lucita, <laughs> oh Lucita, Great. come yeah, in that, me, Lucita. That, that's not your business, just cook the paella. <laughs> You're good in that. Me canta todo, Lucita. And we are shaking the paella, I guess. Are you two recording? Yep. And I'm taping too. Shake it, baby, shake it. It's, not, it's sticking a little bit more, so that's shake good. Shake it, baby. It's going good, and then we actually taste it. You want to do a taste in the middle? No, no, see, see. There's a little liquid, so we want to boil that off, but we taste it just to make sure it's not crunchy. No? Good? Good. Burn is really delicious. Also. Oh yes, I know. But I don't want to burn it too much. So no, no, no. We can do we can do a little flame and then we'll it turn it off. It doesn't smell weird. Ah, you're gonna cover it? cover it for 15 minutes. For 15 minutes. And then yeah, we're gonna you be ready to eat. Smell that little burning. So that's we're we're done. Okay. That's it, buddy. So what we're gonna try to do is make this is garlic. Shrimp. It's also called ajo de gambas in Spain or ajo de marisco. So put that like that and we'll turn the fire on. There we go. And we'll put the garlic in. That we got a little thing here, and this is the little secret little um, chili peppers. Just put a couple in there. Whoa, that's way too So I only need like three or four. So we'll just put these guys in. I want 
one, two, three, four, a couple of tiny ones. Those tiny ones people will eat and will burn their mouth. So we'll do four to start. book that I, I've been cooking these things from and uh, one of my goals is to cook all the recipes in this book. Shrimp. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, everybody, está listo. Okay, everybody, let's go. Let's start running. Oh, it's on again now. All right, here it is. The paella, we're going to reveal it. You guys ready for the paella? Yes. Birch Community Services began in 1992 with a donated bag of squished bread on the front porch of Barry and Suzanne Birch. They shared the bread with some single moms and other families in need in their neighborhood. Within the following weeks, other food retailers who had heard of the Birch's spirit of giving were donating their surplus for redistribution by the Birch's to a growing number of needy families. The organization was steadily grown to become one of the largest food distribution programs in Oregon and has been within the top 25 organizations in Portland Business Journal's annual list of top 100 Portland nonprofits 
and has never received a penny in government funds. What's wrong? That has to be the funnest two minutes of my life. Yes! <laughs>